Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin, East Cape Skiffs behind me. Another beautiful Fury. We've got three going down the lineup right now and obviously all different directions. Uh, the one I just shot was in Alabama. This one's actually going to Texas. As you can see, we got the nice two-toned job going on it. We have uh, the black trim. We've done a lot of things around here, but every now and then there's something that comes so simple that we've never done before. Here's one of them. He's got the black side body with the black pipe out on the pleated cushions. We also have a side console. We haven't done one of these in a while. It opens up the uh, fishing space of the boat. And one of the things I want to point out is this console is solid. It's glass from underside. And notice the cut lines. That, my friends, is perfection, okay? It took us many years to get this, but these are one of the little things we want to show off. It's not just the boat as a whole, it's the details. The common stuff, he went with the Mercury 60, four stroke. Two good motors in this class. You got the Suzuki and you got the Mercury. He's got the jack plate. It's going to Texas. You need a jack plate if it's going to Texas. You don't need a tunnel, but you need a jack plate. And he's got the two-tone all grip. The standard stuff that we always include, the Etson wheel, the full C-Star hydraulic system. He's got a smaller Garmin on it, removable. He has his obvious stuff like the rod holders going underneath, the V-Marine push bolt holders. We have the flush bolts mounted here, so if he decides to add a casting platform, he can. And he has one pop-up cleat. He is a sight fisherman. He does pull. So he wanted a hardcore crossover skiff that could do everything. Hence the Fury. Beautiful boat. Just the color pops. The fact that the side console just opens this thing up and has a ton of room. All you guys out there in cyberspace, boom, a Fury side console going to Texas. Y'all take care. Thank you for everything. See ya.